Hey kids, today we're going to learn about up and down. I'm going to show an example of this with this bouncy ball. When I throw it, it'll go up, and when I catch it, it comes down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. See? Pretty cool, huh? Hey kids, today we're going to learn about near and far. Observe the toy that I have hung on this rod. As it comes closer to you, it becomes near. When it goes further back, it is now far. Near, far, near, far. Near and far. Pretty awesome, huh? Hey kids, today we're going to learn about loud and quiet. This is a trumpet, it's a musical instrument. I'm going to play something very loud. And now I'm going to play something quiet. Now I'm going to play something both loud and quiet. See? Pretty wicked, huh? Hey there, kids. Today we're going to learn about light and dark. This here is a light switch. You'll uh, probably see many of these around your home. Right now you can see they were in the light, but when I flip this switch, oh, who turned out the lights? It's all dark. And then you flip it again, whoo, back in the light. We all need the light to see things. Otherwise, it'll be just like walking around with your eyes shut. Oh no, I can't see where I'm going, boom. But then you open your eyes, or in this case, you turn on the light and it's like, boop, I can see. So just make sure you remember, dark, light, dark, light, dark, and light. See you next time. Hey kids, today we're going to learn about in and out. Hey man, what are you doing? I'm teaching all the kids in the world about the difference between in and out. Not anymore. Get out. Okay. Going out. Alright, now we're out. Oof, it's kind of cold out here. You know what, I'm going to go back in now. Oof. Now we're back in. Here's another example of in and out. I'm going to reach into this box and pull out this trumpet mute. Now I'm going to drop it right back into the box. So just make sure you remember in, out, in, out, in, and out. See you next time. Hey kids, Today we're going to learn about hot and cold. Ah, it's so hot out here. It's really, really cold out here. There are many other examples of hot and cold. An example here is this potato, which is really, really hot. That was hot. On the other hand, ice, this ice pack here is really, really cold. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta warm my hands up. So just make sure you remember. Hot. 
cold, hot, cold, hot, and cold. See you next time. Hey kids, today we're going to learn about soft and hard. I'm going to lay down on this very soft pillow. Oof. So comfortable. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Now I'm going to try laying down on this hard board game box. I just can't get comfortable. This right here has both hard and soft. This side right here is very soft, for example. See? Nice and squishy. Meanwhile, on the other side, this is hard. Very hard surface. So just make sure you remember. Soft. Hard. Soft. Hard. Soft and hard. See you next time. Hey kids, today we're learning about slow and fast. Right now I'm going really slow. Now I'm going really fast. Here's another example of fast and slow. I'm going to start turning this head massager. <clears throat> I'm going to start turning it very slowly. Alright, now I'm going to start speeding it up a little bit more. And now I'm just turning it really, really fast. Whew, whew, whew. Oh, okay, I think I need to slow down now. I think I need to slow down. Okay, ah! Whew. I recommend not trying that at home. So just make sure you remember. Slow. Fast. See you next time. Hey kids, today we're learning about pie. Mm, I wonder what flavor it is. <coughs> oh, right. No, 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 not that pie. This pie. Now before you ask, no, pi is not a rectangular worm held up by two sticks, it is actually a number. A number whose full value is as follows. 3.14159265359793238462643383 You see, another thing about pi is that it never ends. It's infinite. Infinite pie. <gasps> oh, oh. Sorry, just zoned out there for a second. So what use is there for this infinitely large yet somehow easily compactable number? Well, let's take a look. <laughs> um, this, as you can see, is a circle. Now pi is when you take the diameter, or this... Now, you draw a horizontal line from one end to the other, or it's a vertical line. Now this line is called the diameter. And now if you multiply the diameter by pi, you get the circumference, which is the entire from the entire round distance around the circle. And that is the primary use of pi. So just make sure you remember. Pi, diameter.
perimeter and circumference, which is equal to the diameter times pi. See you next time. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I wonder what flavor it is. Yeah. Oh, my favorite. Paper.